what are some data points that have got your attention, um, past and present, just uh, about this whole topic and the power of it? Yeah, I mean, I mean two things really. Um, the study um, by Stanford's Graduate School of Business um, back in 2013 that cited, you know, just the, the you know, how few CEOs seek out outside leadership advice, uh, I think is one. And secondly, I would say, again, when you, when you look at the progression of the Edelman Trust Barometer from 2001 to 2017, and you look at the emergence of peers as being credible spokespersons, as being credible with one another and the role uh, that they play in the face of a 2017 results where public trust essentially across the 28 countries um, that are included in the survey, uh, that public trust uh, in business, in media, uh, government, and NGOs, non-governmental organizations, is, is down across the board. And uh, I think when we don't trust our institutions, we have to look to one another. This is where we have to depend on one another. And uh, we do that to a certain degree. There's no question about that. Um, but we could be a whole lot better at it. And, uh, and I think it would help us a lot as a society, not just companies, but just as a society in general, if we were less, um, you know, divided. I mean, we obviously just came off a pretty wicked presidential election that has uh, divided this nation in a way that I think is, um, is unfortunate. And I don't say that it's bad that people have opposing political points of view. I think it's bad when people stop listening to one another. 